every Friday night, we bring in Kara Pritchard for an in-depth look at the area private schools. And Kara, all four of the big four were in town yep. playing each other. Yep, that's right, Mike. Pretty important district matchups for all of them, especially for All Saints. We start with the Trojans, who had dropped their first two league games and were in desperate need of a win as they played host to T.K. Gorman. The Crusaders on the flip side were undefeated on the year, but it was a special night for the Trojans' Wee squads as they got to warm up with the team. First big play, T.K. Gorman with the ball in the three-yard line. Michael Goodwin tosses it to Pan Peyton Fanning. The Crusaders up 7-0. T.K. Gorman would score right after that. But All Saints get their chance. Chet Wynn lobs it up to Logan Bradford, who catches it, runs it in for the Trojans' touchdown. Honorary Pee Wee cheerleader has her moment to shine after that score, but not for long. Right after that big play, Crusader Sean Cunningham catches it after the punt, runs it all the way down the sideline for a whopping 83 yards. That puts TK Gorman on top, 20-7 to in a second quarter. The Trojans have the ball. QB Chet Wynn can't find his man. He tosses it up, but that was a bad choice because Crusaders Hunter Pilgrim was right there for the snag. 65-yard pick six for the junior, and TK Gorman continued to prevail. Here's the final score. TK Gorman stomped the Trojans on their home turf, 49-21. to Let's head down to Buller for a battle of one-on-one -on -one teams in league play. Brook Hill playing host to Grace. Starting things off, Grace quarterback Christopher Wilhelmy is sacked by Brook Hill's Jacob Johnson in the first quarter. Wilhelmy gets the snap again and throws to receiver Parker Ari, who's taken down close to midfield. Later in the first, Brook Hill quarterback McCray Fletcher drops back, finds wide receiver Ryan Cook for the big guard gain. And again, Fletcher gets the snap, hands it off to running back Jordan Gowen for another short gain for the Brook Hill guard. And again, Brook Hills Fletcher scans the field, drops back, and he goes airborne to Ryan Cox, who catches it. Oh, and it's good, but then there's a flag called. Let's take a look at that final score. Grace Community tops Brook Hill 31-21. Kings Academy were shut down by public school Gorman Panthers 58-19. Leverage Chapel takes a beating by Union Hill 56-6. That's a look at the private school roundup. Catch us again next Friday night from where here on Friday Football Fever.